Hello friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is mensuration. As we know, mensuration is one of the very important topic for any kind of competitive exams. Let it be bank, SSC, railway, UPSC, CSAT and placement trainings. In all the exams, friends, you can find question from the mensuration. And friends, if you talk about the railway exam and the SSC exam, mensuration plays a very important role in selection. So friends, mensuration, you can expect five question in SSC and railway. Now friends, starting with the question number one, which is based on the parallelogram concept and friends before solving this question please watch the previous video on parallelogram where i have discussed the basic so friends parallelogram is nothing but a quadrilateral is a quadrilateral with opposite sides equal okay friends now let's see what is the question so two equilateral triangle of sides two square root of three centimeter are joined to form a quadrilateral the altitude of quadrilateral thus formed is equal to so you have to calculate the altitude or you can say the height of the the height of the quadrilateral formed now friends let's see how can we draw the diagram so 2 square root of 3 so this is something like that we can draw a diagram so this is something like that we can draw a diagram so 2 equilateral triangle so friends 2 equilateral triangle are okay so yeah now friends you can see two equilateral triangle are joined to form a quadrilateral okay so now friends you see so this is 2 root 3 this is also 2 root 3 and this is also 2 root 3 and this is also 2 root 3 okay friends and this will be also 2 root 3 so quadrilateral uh, so equilateral triangle means what all three sides will be equal so equilateral triangle means nothing but all three sides will be equal so a b c so friends you can say a b will be equal to b c b c will be equal to a c so all three sides will be equal all three sides will be equal in case of in case of equilateral triangle so this equilateral triangle are this equilateral triangle are joined to form a quadrilateral now friends basically what they are asking the altitude of the quadrilateral thus formed so first what we will do friends the area of the parallelogram area of the parallelogram thus formed area of the parallelogram or you can say area of the quadrilateral or you can say area of the quadrilateral thus formed will be equal to thus formed will be equal to friends this is two triangles so two into area of two into area of suppose if you are saying a b c d right okay so a b c d so you can say a b c and a d c is two triangle so two into so two into area of two into area of triangle you can say a b c now friends equilateral triangle the area will be a square root of three by four into side square so side is nothing but two root three square side is nothing but friends two root three now two into root three by four into two square will be four and root three square will be three now four and four cancel so this will become six root three so now friends area of quadrilateral or area of quadrilateral thus formed we have got is nothing but six root three and area of quadrilateral will be base into height is equals to 6 root 3 now friends base is nothing but 2 root 3 and height we have to calculate this altitude we have to calculate this you have to calculate is equals to 6 root 3 so friends this will go by three times so height will become 3 centimeter so height will become 3 centimeter and option a will be the correct answer for the question number one friends so this was a very important question in parallelogram now friends moving towards the question number two so friends question number two a rectangle and a parallelogram are drawn between the same parallel lines between the same parallel lines so friends what i will do a rectangle so this is my rectangle so this is my rectangle and a rectangle and a parallelogram are drawn between the same parallel lines so here i will use a different pen uh, now this will become my using the same using the same parallel lines okay so this will become one rectangle and one parallelogram friends right okay now i will give some name to them so this will become my a i'm sorry so this will become my a b and then c and then e okay friends 
and then I can give some other name also to them. Okay, so this is suppose E D E and then F. Okay, so we have given the name also to the rectangle and the parallelogram. Okay, now let's read. So a rectangle and a parallelogram are drawn between the same parallel lines on a common base of 10 centimeters. So common base, friends. So this is nothing but 10 centimeter. If the perimeter of the rectangle is 36 centimeter, so friends, perimeter of a rectangle will be nothing but 2 into length plus breadth. 2 into length plus breadth. So perimeter is given 36 centimeter. Okay, friends, 36 centimeters is equal to 2 into. So friends, length if you'll see, so one will be your 10, and breadth if you'll see, friends. So this is not given. So we'll write. Uh, okay, BC you write. So AB was 10, and plus BC we will calculate. Now 36, so if you try to divide friends, this will go by 18 times. So 18 is equals to 10 plus BC. So BC will be equal to 8 centimeter. So friends, this we have got 8 centimeter. This we have got friends, 8 centimeter. Okay. Now, what has been asked to you friends, then the area of the parallelogram. So the area of the parallelogram, which two sides are, which two sides, uh, opposite sides will be equal. Okay. So friends, area of parallelogram so area of parallelogram so parallelogram will be equal to base into height now friends base if you'll see base is nothing but 10 height if you'll see height is nothing but 8 so this will become 80 centimeter square and we have an option here option b 80 centimeter square and that will become the correct answer for question number two so friends today we learn parallelogram and parallelogram is one of the very important topic in mensuration and I hope you would have understood the concept in details. Thanks a lot for watching the video friends.